it's time to it's time to mourn. <laughs> Saving Saints FM say, come on! I'm even wearing exactly the same shirt, ladies and gentlemen. He has returned. I'm just editing it now. Well, I'm, I'm kind of editing it because this video is going in it. But, um, and I'm also not able to show you my background, so... Because <laughs> it is changing. Um, but yeah, let's get into the intro and welcome back, Pierre. Get it hashtagged. What's up, everyone? And welcome back to another episode of Saving Saints. I do hope you're all okay during lockdown and still surviving. Uh, that would be fantastic. Uh, hopefully, we could all uh, get out soon and I can buy you all a pint. Um, but thank you very much so far for the support on Saving Saints. It is going to come to an end very, very soon. Uh, we have probably two more episodes, including this one. Um, so I do hope you do enjoy it and yeah, let's get into it. So here we are for the first time in a long time going into our recap and we would take on West Ham United at home in the first game. We obviously play Angus Gunn and we would score the first one. Jude Bellingham would set up Dembele who would be blasted in by Moise Keane, 1-0 to the Saints. West Ham would equalise just 15 minutes later. Zobnin, who was excellent at uh, uh, the London Stadium, would find Tomkins. Tops, no, it's Tomkins. Simicass, sorry. <laughs> it's my bad reading. And uh, But we would get the win in the end, and it would come for Sebastiano Esposito. And that would be the 2 1 win. A great start for the Saints. Next up was Norwich City at home. As you can see, we've also changed skin, by the way. Uh, and they would take the lead. Juan Mata would set up Scott McTominay and they would lead by a goal to nil. We would equalise in the 65th minute. James Ward Prowse find Hoybjerg, who would be set up for Michael Oberfemi. And that is how it would finish. It would finish Norwich 1 Southampton 1, a dent in our title hopes. Next up, we saw a crazy game between us and Brighton, and it would start off a lot better for the hosts. They cross in from the corner, and who would it be at the back post? Jeremy Jalan making it 1 0. Raphael will then pass across, and it would be struck wonderfully by Davy Perper to make it 2 0. We take, we get, we 2 0 down at half time, but we get one back four minutes after half time. Dembele finding Esposito, he's never missing from there. It's in the box, he's a fox in the box, and we would equalise and make it 2 2 just, just eight minutes later. Harry Wilson's effort deflecting back to Sebastiano Esposito to make it 2-2. We get into the lead. Nathan Redmond, fresh off the bench, would run through. It would be headed away and finished by Michael Obafemi to make it 3-2. Brighton would then equalise with 17 minutes on the clock. Left, Moyes cross, finding Vendel to make it 3-3. Just seven minutes later though, with 18 minutes on the clock, Obafemi ran through and finished emphatically to make it 4-3. What a South Coast derby this was. And then in the 94th minute, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain would get his customary last minute goal in a cracker of a game. He was never missing that on the edge of the box. 5-3, what a victory for the Saints. And, well, massive, especially going 2-0 down. Next was a trip to Aston Villa, which we did find very, very tough uh, last year. But this year we made a little bit more light work of it. We make it 1-0 pretty early on. Sebastiano Esposito's header from a corner. We're still scoring quite a lot from corners at the moment. We make it 2. Moise Keane running through and finishing as per usual. 2-0 in 10 minutes by the way. Villa would get one back just before, well, 5 minutes before half time. Sangali with the goal. But then in, we would hold on into the 91st minute until Ward Prowse would launch it forward. And Adam Hlozek would get back on the score sheet, back after some injuries. Fantastic goal, 
3-1 to the Saints. Now, without me knowing, being ignorant and knowing how this random tournament works, the UEFA Conference League, which is probably going to be delayed in real life, um, we got given a bye into the next round and we would score early on through Jamie Vardy, making it 1-0 against Legia Vossor. And they would equalise and make it 1-1 and that is how it would finish in the last 16, I believe, of this competition. It's very, very random. I don't know, but I just really want to win it, basically. Um, Jamie Vardy did get on the score sheet, though. 1-1 uh, away from home. And in the final game of the episode, we would host West Bromwich Albion at St. Mary's and dismantle them. First off, Harry Wilson's ball in would find the captain, Christopher Raya, who made it 1-0 after a quarter of an hour. Wilson would be involved again, this time on the score sheet. Dembele's ball in, deflecting to the Welshman, who would dispatch easily. He'd make it three from the free kick. In customary fashion, pretty pulled from Sam Johnston, but 3-0, an easy win, let's take a look at the table. So last time out we were level on points with Manchester City, we are now two points behind, probably thanks to the 1-1 draw with Norwich. But yeah, a very decent way that we're going. Next episode you will see is the last episode, because what we'll be doing is I'll be playing the four games as well as the UEFA Conference League games, then what we will have is the last four games on Super Sunday, hopefully. Uh, it might be a Super Monday or a Super Tuesday. Um, but you have the last four games of the league season, as well as potentially some stuff in the UEFA Conference League. I'm not promising anything, it all depends on how the save runs out. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I do hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please drop a like. Who knows? Maybe we'll keep the series going. I don't know. It's it, it, it's it's all about my heart. But yeah, um, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.